Guys, today I want to talk to you a little bit about our commercial models, the Pro and the Pro Touch. And um, I want to specifically focus in on the Pro Touch and the, um, the touch screen, the calculator um, that the engineers developed. And I want to show you what a huge difference digital pressure readout and the ability to tell the machine how much surface area is between the plates so you can get an accurate material pounds per square inch on your material every time um, is crucial. And then show you how, how uh, easy it is uh, if you're not watching that um, manually to blow right over. So um, please stick with me. Okay guys, first of all, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go over to the master extractor screen on this, this unit so we can actually plug in specific surface area uh, numbers here under the custom setting. Um, so we're going to start with just one square inch so I can show you um, just one square inch what your gauge difference would be on the Pro versus the Pro Touch and how easy it is to blow over surface area um, on this guy. So um, the plates are nearly touching, uh, we're set at one square inch and I'm going to use the manual uh, hand pump over here and um, just see where, oh. I just hit it with two fingers and look where we're at. So, especially when, you know, the hashers out there, you, you know, you understand how important it is to put a specific uh, surface area pressure on your products. So you don't blow it out and, and ruin everything. So, anyhow, I wanted to show you that that's one uh, uh, square inch. And then look, if you, if you use the air portion of this, I mean, look what, look, look what happens. Could you imagine? Oh my God. So a lot of, you know, hash starts coming out at, at uh, 250 to 300 material PSI. Um, so, and you know, rarely do we ever use one by one, but let's go ahead and put a different surface area in now that we would use. I went ahead and released the pressure on this unit. And we're gonna put in uh, a common size, uh, which would be like possibly two and a half uh, inch by three inch, or three and a half inch, say. That would be uh, if you're using our hash bags or so, or that's a real common hash extraction or even longer than that, but we'll stick at that for now. And it increases the surface area to that. Now we'll do the same test here and we'll just come down with our, with our uh, handle. And there we go, we started to build pressure, but you see where it's at there? You see how we can build pressure evenly and see exactly where we're at instead of flying by it. Now, of course, if you hit it with this thing, you're gonna blast through. Um, but well, you're not even there, you can see that's even manageable. So, and then you can turn the air down here. So, you know, the importance of the, the uh, uh, surface area calculator uh, tool um, in this is absolutely key. You can also use that same tool on the Pro with the manual gauge. Uh, it, it, it's just a little tougher. Uh, uh, what I recommend to hashers out there, make sure your surface area of the product between the plates is as large as you possibly can get it and, and only use the uh, manual portion um, to do your extractions, obviously. But anyhow, the importance of the digital uh, calculator tool, being able to calculate on the size of the, the surface area that's between the plates and how much actually material pounds per square inch you're putting on that material consistently every time is absolutely key. So let's say you are you did the surface area of this this time, but next time it's going to be, uh, let me release the pressure, next time it's going to be, you know, uh, five inches. So you hit this, we change the surface area to five inches. Now you can go and put 250 material, 300 uh, material PSI, just where it starts to flow for you. Um, you can put that in there um, uh, and program it to that. As for the Pro guys, um, you know, you can use the Nug Smasher app, like I was saying. Uh, it has a calculator tool on it, select the Pro. It has a custom setting, so you can put the exact custom size that you have between the plates. And then you can, in turn, see exactly what the gauge needs to read. Just be very gentle with this, guys. Um, the the 
uh, especially when you're, you're getting low pressure, uh, the gauge is a little behind. So just be gentle with it, that's all. And well, really with your, your extractions. But as for the Pro, you can get the Nug Smasher app and it's on there, the calculator tool. It works amazing. And then if you dial your valve down so you don't have massive pressure coming out of the thing, um, you can really achieve exactly the, the exact pressure you want and just take some dialing the settings in. Like I said, with the Pro Touch, it, you know, everything's all dialed in. It's just you program in what you want and that's what you get back out. Hope this was helpful, guys. Just a little tidbit on uh, the Nug Smasher Pro Touch. Um, uh, something to think about. Thanks for watching as always. Uh, follow us on social media and get Turp Files for God's sakes if you don't already. Uh, Turp Files is available. It's our Nug Smasher app. It's available at Apple Store or the Google, Google uh, App Store. And um, basically, um, uh, everybody is sharing pictures of the results they're getting um, and the results they're getting uh, with other people. Uh, you can see what strains are great to extract, what strains aren't. You can see what other people are doing. There's a spot in there for a before and after picture. We don't share your information with, uh, with anybody other than the community there that shares it with each other. So um, uh, it's a great tool. Everybody seems to like it. You can get that uh, downloaded on your phone. And I know it used to be available online at, at nugsmasher.com. No longer is because it is an app now. So all that information that was online, if you belonged to it previously, it's over on the uh, app store. Once you sign in there, you'll be able to get to it. So anyhow, thanks everybody. Until next time, like, subscribe, tell a friend.